right guys, today we are over in Canton off of Whipple at the Busy Beaver. And the reason we're here is because it's gonna be closing down. They're having a moving sale right now, or at least they have begun the moving sales. You can see on the sign out here where it says moving sale 20%. And then here's the building up here. Now it's funny because Richard Wolf actually just filmed a Busy Beaver that just moved into a Kmart. Um, however, this one here is closing down and it's gonna be moving to a lo new location, which I will disclose as soon as we get done taking a look at this store. You can see where the V is missing on there which at this point doesn't really matter because they're just going to be taking it down anyway. And they got all these signs up here, paint, bath shop, plumbing, electrical, lawn and garden, hardware, doors, windows, lumber. I would be willing to bet that the new style is going to be different from that, but I just don't know. As we come around the front here, look at the letters on the Busy Beaver. Part of the Y is gone, the E is gone. So those will be getting trashed whenever they close this store. We got the lumber yard back here. I've never been back in that lumber yard actually, but I have been in this store. It's really cool. It has like that vintage feel in here. And I like this store because you can go in and look for specific little things that you can't find in bigger stores. Look at these signs, guys. I love the way these signs are styled. And this is what I'm talking about right here. This is like what was good about the old time uh, hardware stores. You know, look, I mean, you've got every kind of screw and nut and bolt that you can imagine in here. And you can just come in here and buy one, you can buy a hundred. They've got these bags up here. You just pull off the bag, find your thing that you need, whatever it is. Look at this, knobs, everything, man. Shelf pins, cork stoppers. I mean, they've got everything in here. It's absolutely amazing. And uh, you just fill up your bag and then they weigh it out and you write down on here, like the number, you know, of what it is that you've picked out. And, uh, and it, that's just awesome. You know, you can't find that anywhere else. Even at like, you know, Lowe's and the bigger hardware stores now, they don't have that kind of thing. They have a very, very small selection of this stuff. And you can just, you never find what you want. So, Busy Beaver, thank you. You rule. <laughs> yeah, look at these floors. This place is definitely in the condition where it's time to move on. And I did notice there's this red stripe like a track going around the whole store here i don't know if this was something else before busy beaver it probably was but i'm just not aware of it another thing in these uh these older stores they love to use this pegboard the pegboard is everywhere in these stores i mean look at this all throughout here even the walls straight ahead that's all pegboard up there yeah, look, all the walls are pegboard. Here's some lumber. Just a little bit. They got the big lumber yard out back, but... Yep. Carpets. That looks like all outdoor carpets. Absolutely love those signs. If they toss those when this place closes, I definitely want to try to get some. I'd love to have one of those hanging up in my office. But yeah, let's let's go down here for a minute because I want to show you this. It just it just amazes me that the walls are just all pegboards. <laughs> I'm sure that that's like a, a money saving feature, you know, but I'm sure it also gives them plenty of places to hang stuff if they ever want to move anything. Look, everywhere. Everything's pegboards. 
pretty smart on their part. So yeah, right now everything is 20% off. Um, the lady up there told me that they're planning on moving out, I think she said September 1st. And then they're planning on boo being in the new place, booing, they're planning on being in the new place uh, October 1st. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. Some side doors they don't use anymore. And yeah, there's that red that goes through there again. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. See if I can find out what this was before or if anybody from the area is watching this. Um, let me know. You know, if you remember, if this was something else at one time, let me know what it was. It, it had to be. Here's some more of that red here on the floor. And that pegboard continues around the edges there. That's cool. All right, guys. Well, that was cool. That was really awesome of them to let me just get some shots in here. And uh, you know, now we're going to run over real quick. And I'm going to show you where the new store is going to be. Okay, guys. Here we are. What will be the new location of Busy Beaver. You can see 30th Street Center back there right behind me. This is the old Sears Hardware Store. Here's where we filmed yesterday, actually. That's the old uh, McKinley Theater and Hollywood video, but this used to be a Sears Hardware, uh, Sears Home, actually, I think is what it was called. And I filmed here before. If you guys remember, there's a creepy guy living in the woods behind it. <laughs> That's mean. Maybe he's not creepy. He's just a guy living in the woods. But he's the kind of guy who just wants to talk and talk and talk and talk, so I am not going to go back there. But as you can see, there is no indication whatsoever yet that uh, that they're working on this place yet. Um, I don't think we can see in those corrugated things there. We'll try to take a peek in the front door here. Maybe they're doing a little bit of work. I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, it's going to be too too much reflection there. Okay, guys. Yeah, we couldn't see anything in there because it was just too much reflection. But we'll take a peek in here. Maybe we can see something. Nah, it looks like it's basically the same thing. And these are kind of dirty too, so you really can't see anything. It's, it's kind of strange to me that there's no indication yet that they're working on anything. What in the heck is that thing? Like a trash can or something. Yeah. Yeah, I can't see anything. Let's look around the side here for a minute, just for the heck of it. I don't want to run into that dude. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not going back there. So, all right, guys. So that's it. That's where the Busy Beaver is going. 30th Street in the old Sears Hardware building. I think it was called Sears Home, if I'm not mistaken. I'll link that video at the end. And the guy that you saw drive up um, in a reflection of the windows, that was a fan who was coming out of the Dollar Tree across the street here. And he saw me out here filming. That was pretty cool. So... All right, guys, that's it. Tell me what you know about that old Busy Beaver there on 30th Street. The lady inside told me that it at one time was a Stamboz. So um, was it built as a Stamboz, or what can you tell me? I'll see you guys later. Peace.